Before I start the review, I just want to say, that fucking Megan lady, I'm going to fucking grab that lady, I'm going to fucking punt, punt her to a different planet where freaking Superman can take care of her. <laughs> oh, brother. So yes, the movie we're going to be talking about is Megan. Megan is a horror sci-fi comedy. It's about this AI type type that they create called Megan, who takes care of this girl who lost her parents and the aunt creates this AI. I was interested in this film, nonetheless. Of course, worried, like worried, because it's January and horror is not the best. January and horror is not the best combination. That's, that's all you need to know. So I was quite worried and surprisingly, I had a good time with this movie. I'm not gonna lie. This film is very enjoyable and pretty funny and nonetheless had a good time with this movie. But let's start off with the performances. We got the character of Megan. Megan was created by the aunt and she's her sole purpose is to take care of this girl and make sure that she doesn't get hurt by all means necessary. Take care of her, nonetheless. Take care of her kind of like a mother type. And the girl who played Megan stole the fucking show, nonetheless. She, every time she does something in the movie, you keep your eyes open. And it's the girl who played voiced her. I, 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 I sadly don't know the actress. She kind of, I don't know if it's me, but the model kind of looks familiar to this actress. What's her name? Ama uh, what's her name? Amanda Safield, I think. I think that's her name. She, her, she kind of looks like her, I don't know. But the, the character design though, but the girl who did her amazing job, she, she killed it in my opinion. The young girl, she's she was she's known for of course the, the haunting of Hill House. And she plays the niece of this of the of the maker. And she again loses her parents in a car accident and she's going through a lot of shit. Again, she's going through that Batman type type thing, which they kinda of make a reference to that funny funny enough. She's going through a lot of shit. She has to live with her aunt, who's now her guardian. And yeah, she, and she meets Megan, who's this nice, who's taking care of her, who listens to her. So she gets really fond of Megan. I thought the girl did a pretty good job, young actress. She's always done a great job. She's a good actress from Haunting of Hill House. She made it like a scene in, in, Doctor, in Doctor Sleep. She's a pretty good actress. She's, she's a young actress and I hope, I, I hope good things happen to her. You also got the aunt who also was in the film Get Out. I, I knew I recognized the lady. But yeah, she's the aunt. She works for this high-tech company who creates these machines, AI. And yeah, she, she, she has this idea, but her boss is being an asshole saying, oh, okay, you better make us this fluffy toy. But she's like, nah, I'm gonna make my shit. It didn't, it didn't go well for her, did it? <laughs> but yeah, she creates Megan to take care of her her niece. She understands that, listen, you can't have somebody to take care of the, to, a, a machine to take care of your own child. And she, she, she deals with that little grief and character work. And yeah, I thought the girl did a pretty good job. She's a good actress, nonetheless. She's always a good actress. And yeah, she did pretty good. She, very, very deep character. You don't know what, again, what she's thinking much. But again, it's a hard situation. You lose your sister and shit. It's like, you don't know what, what goes to her mind, you know? The only thing the only thing I wish they did more with her character is dealt deep with that. Her losing her sister. It, 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 they didn't even barely mention it. She's like, yeah, of course, I, I miss I miss her. But she, they barely deal with it. They we could have given her more character depth and things like that. It would have been a better character, in my opinion. But I thought she was pretty good in the movie. Performances, I thought everybody did a pretty good job. No one had that you know, killer performance. Of course, the girl who played Megan is the top of the top. That's the best performance in the film. The most entertaining performance in the movie, that's for sure. It's very entertaining, but all around, all the actors, performance-wise, pretty, pretty good. Everybody, there was not much bad acting that I can see. The direction by Mr. Gerard Johnston Stone, I think. That's how you say it. Gerard Johnston. Hopefully I got your, your name right, man. I fucking suck at it. But yeah, his direction's pretty good. The film is directed pretty damn darn well. Looks good. Camera work is pretty good. The writing is definitely the peak in this film. The dialogue is fucking hilarious at times, but it's also very like, oh shit, this whole idea of this machine, because it's real. You know, that now we're getting to that point of technology where that can absolutely happen. And it's like, mm, it's cool. Of course, the story was by Mr. James Wan, funny enough. Dude creates some good shit, doesn't he? <laughs> I mean, Mr. James Wan just continues to give us some pretty darn solid horror films. But yeah, I thought the story is very interesting and the writing is top notch. The cinematography is pretty good. It looks good. The film looks pretty good. I thought the film was shot pretty good. 
all around the film was shot pretty pretty solid the chemistry is pretty damn good i thought the chemistry between megan and the the, the daughter or the girl they have good chemistry you can very much tell megan really cares for her like of course she's built to care for her but too much she cares for her too much and of course the daughter really loves this fucking toy because this is a toy that actually listens to her and sits there to actually listen and care and it's like her best friend but sadly her best friend is a fucking machine it's not sadly that doesn't usually that usually machines in movies don't go well that's that's just that's that's a given the chemistry is good chemistry between of course the daughter and the, and the uh, no niece aunt whatever the fuck they are but the guardian taking care of her i thought they were good you can very much tell there's drama there because it's like damn like she of course the aunt doesn't know what she's gonna do with her because she does she was not prepared to take care of a child but yeah man she she was willing to do it and this is what happens and it's very you can very much tell there's a lot of trauma and she does uh, and this megan is just there to like build it down and uh, you know things like that but but yeah I thought their chemistry was good. All around, I had a fun time with this movie. This film is fun. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing fucking that you, the, the, the geniuses could understand. I felt like this is a pretty fun movie. I had a solid time with this movie. And it's a really fun movie for a film that came out in January. Pretty solid, no lie. And yeah, all around, I enjoyed it. So I'm going to give this film a three out of five stars. I had a good time with this movie. Definitely a fun time. Of course... Plot points, plot wise, there's definitely some hickeys there, you know, none, some things that you could definitely notice, but it's very, it's very predictable. Come on, man. Every fucking horror movie has the same ending these days, man. Nothing, nothing great, no, nothing spectacular happens in this movie, but this film was just so entertaining with the character of Megan, how fun she is and how insane she is, and it's just such a fun time watching that performance and just the whole story itself was pretty interesting. So, yeah, those are my thoughts for Megan. If you've not seen it, you could, you could check it out go see it with your you know your, your girlfriend in a horror movie you know they, they might love it they might not uh, but yeah have fun and uh yeah i hope you guys have a great day bye <laughs>